Welcome to my lecture online. In the last couple of videos we've talked about this particular theorem where we have the measure of an inscribed angle ABD to be equal to half the measure of the of the uh, intercepted arc and therefore we also know that since the measure of the angle ACD to the center like that is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc Notice that the intercepted arc for angle ACD is the same as the intercepted arc for angle ABD. We then said the theorem claims that then the measure of this angle must be half the measure of that angle. So now we're going to try to show that to you, to prove that, that that's indeed the case. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw a line that's perpendicular to this chord right there. So we know that this angle here is 90 degrees and this angle here is 90 degrees. And notice we now have two congruent triangles. How do we know that they're congruent? Because we know that these two sides must be congruent because they're both the radius of the circle. And this side, which is shared between the two triangles, must be the same. And for that reason, these two must be the same as well since they also have a common angle there. So since those are the same, that means that this angle here must equal this angle over here. And let's call that angle x degrees and this angle x degrees over there. If that's the case, then this angle right here, this angle, let's put a line over here, that is equal to 180 degrees minus x degrees minus x degrees. Because I subtract these two angles from 180 and I then have the remaining angle if I take a look at this triangle right here. In other words, that is equal to 180 degrees minus 2x degrees. So what is this angle then equal to right here? Let's call this angle y degrees. And I know that this angle plus this angle must add up to 180 degrees because they are supplementary angles. So therefore, I can say that 180 degrees minus 2x degrees, which is this angle, plus this angle, plus y degrees, that must add up to 180 degrees. So, 180 degrees cancels on both sides, so we end up with two, minus 2x two degrees plus y degrees equals 0, or y degrees equals 2x degrees. In other words, this angle here is twice the angle of this angle. So this is equal to 2x degrees, and that's exactly what we're trying to show. Because here we said that the measure of angle ABD must be equal to half the measure of angle ACD. So here, notice that ABD is x, ACD is 2x, and therefore we've shown that it's exactly half, and this theorem is indeed correct, and that is how it's done.